Welcome back to Let's Play The Sims with me, Squawk. And when we left off, we had met the creepy person who lives in that trailer. Like, seriously, he's scary. And we've also met up with the Johnsons, who now have a friend, actually. So I'm guessing the game now registers uh, Homer as a friend. I don't know. But, um, yeah. It was a very interesting experience in which there was dancing, showers, and lots of creepy stuff. But, also it turns out everyone in the family is playing the stock market and made a load of money, which meant we bought a fish tank and some new things for the kids area. So, things are going good for the Johnsons at least, and actually we don't have a friend yet, we don't have a fr family friend yet. Hmm, oh well. Um, so, let's get back on with our, with our day, back on with our life. We've got bladders to hygiene and hungers to sate. So, we're going to just queue up some orders before we get going because I'm strategic and shit. And yeah, let's jump back into our life. So, off you go, uh, you lot. Start preparing breakfast, please, uh, uh, Sarah, because you know what? You're still, the, you're still the best at doing breakfast. No one's making our way to the fridge, but I hope no one blocks up the door because that was a bit of a disaster Ooh, yesterday. You two are just talking about oh, dolphins. Yes, yeah. Ooh, hey. Dolphins, like, jump really high. Going. Like, really. I fucking hate Ooh, dolphins, but well, today's weather is somewhat well, overcast. Eh, uh, no, the weather isn't overcast, but you know what, I hear we're going on a field trip to drive down some hills. No, we're not going on a field trip to drive down some hills, you made that up. Right, kids, by the way, you need to get dressed. You know what, because now, now, now that you have this kid's wardrobe thing, I'm going to encourage you to get dressed, so you two go get dressed. And is that breakfast happening or what? I mean, you're staring at the fridge and it's not happening, is it? Don't tell me Bob wants to make it. No, he doesn't. Right. Come on. Right. There we go. Right. Breakfast is occurring. I'm guessing she was just planning her meal. Like, what shall we serve the family this morning? I don't know, but it involves oil, milk, a tomato, and some hummus. This could be interesting. Right, and you two kids, one of them's just ventured into the bathroom again. Why is it the bathrooms are never private in this game? Look, get out and go, go like, play with your brother or something, like, just keep him away from that fucking fridge, because I know that's what's going to happen in the end. So you two just have fun. I mean, there you go. Play with each other. There you go. Go have your sugar field uh, playing around, your sugar field hijinks. I wonder if a phone will ring and give us even more money today. That phone is like our little fucking, like, treasure chest. And now you two are objecting to it. Go, go, go play, go play in the toy chest or something. You two. I mean, look, she's she's gonna get something. She's getting a racing car. You two just don't do gender stereotypes, do you? No, wait. She, no, don't think about your sister. Look, breakfast is served. Go have some breakfast while you continue to complain about we don't feed you. I mean, we do feed you, but we just always feed you at inconvenient times, so you never get the full benefit of eating. That's how we work in this family. And what's more, today's discussion is about mountains. So, how's your mountain career going, uh, Yum. Bob? Yum. Yeah, Dad, how's your mountain career going? You wanna play football later? You wanna play football? You wanna pass that football around? Yeah, Bob, are you playing football? You know, I mean, today is very sunny. I mean, we can't decide if it's overcast or sunny today. Mm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, so it is today. It's very sunny, and I need to go to work to stop talking to you horrible people. Because I need to go and also deal with, uh, Homer later. Because we need him to be our friend, people. I know he's creepy. I know he's a pervert. I know he enjoys tickling. And I know he may have a romantic interest in me, but... We need him to get promoted, so... Yeah, and everyone dumps their food on the floor, leaving it all for Sarah, and please don't get confused by the door, Bob. Come on, Bob. Get your ass to that fucking car. Yeah, I know, Schweinheit. I know, you like German words, right? Are you going to school, by the way? No, right. We need to, like, build multiple fucking entrances into this house so we don't have this situation, and you pissed yourself in the kid's bedroom to play with a dollhouse. You are okay, Sarah. That whole shower voyeurism thing hasn't, like, broken you in two mentally. It has. This girl is fresh, and then whoop at that snout, and you stop our gun howling on it. Goodbye, Sarah. I'm just padding the camera over here. This family's falling apart, and it's all Homer's fault as well. I mean, he was the one who just came here and just, like, started fucking perving on her. 
I'll give her something to do. Right, why don't we clean up this stuff, um, Mrs. Piss Your Pants, and then we'll find something fun to do, like maybe get you out of those clubs, not in a perverted way. I mean, you just because they're probably covered in piss and they smell bad, so we need to kind of deal with that. So, do you pick up those things, wash them up, and then we can pretend all that has never happened. But we will need to mop that up before the kids discover it, because then the kids will be traumatised as well. Strange days in the Johnson family. Strange days. That's all I can say. So that was some really spectacular plate stacking action there. Lovely plate sprites. And now we just fill that up with bubbles. And there we go. We just stick, stick them all in. Listen to the best fucking washing up noises. And that's all the washing up done. Right. You go de-piss yourself now. And then you're going to have to mop that up before it sinks into the carpet and makes the whole house smell. That is not what we want them best recycle that old newspaper we forgot to bring in yesterday. Please don't turn up by the way, Homer. Please don't turn up. Please don't turn up. Right, looks like he hasn't turned up. Well, he's somewhere out there. This big grey void which exists outside our house. He's out there waiting to do his next weird thing. Hmm... How's that shower coming on, by the way? It's coming on like uh, hygiene is slowly filling up. Showers and baths, by the way, are always good for dirty sims, especially ones that have recently pissed themselves. Hand washing after messy activities, such as pissing yourself, also helps keep your hygiene high. It's good. By the way, has anyone ever used that bin we bought? I've noticed that no one ever seems to use it. Like, seriously, we just wash everything up in this house. I feel like that bin is a waste of money. Big waste of money at that. By the way, you're going to like leak the entire shower when you're done in there. I know you are. Then you can enjoy some TV after this, by the way, because your comfort is always like clinically, well, not, not clinically, but it's chronically low. Like, seriously, like, only yesterday you had no, you had no comfort, and now today you have no comfort. We need to make you more comfortable in life, don't we? Now I'll probably start off by not inviting Homer into the house, but unfortunately that's going to happen. Bob likes him, and Bob likes dancing with him, and Bob will eventually cheat on Sarah with him, so... May as well just get it going now. No point waiting. No time like the present. Nice mop, Baba. Use a sponge mop, which has probably not rubbed at all into the carpet. I mean, I don't really know anything about mopping, so I don't know if using a squeegee spongy mop really does anything. And then, you know, you go enjoy your TV time, and then I'm just going to fast forward time, because there isn't really a lot to do now. Like, seriously, if you're in a good mood, I would probably set you off on studying some more cooking skills so we could continue to make the best fucking food in the world, but... Nope. Not a lot to do. By the way, how's Bob performing at work? Are you doing good? Yeah, he's doing good. But he still needs friends, by the way. But he's doing good. I like that. I like that a lot. Right, what are we watching today, by the way? Not romance. I know you're mentally completely destroyed now, so some cartoons would work better for you. It's tragic, but it's true. So you enjoy your cartoons. I'll enjoy just speeding up time. And then we can watch you laugh in fast motion. <laughs> Seriously, why do you laugh at the cartoons so hard? I feel so sad that we've broken her mentally. And just make sure before we fast forward, I'm in a position where I can stare at that phone before it inevitably rings and disp disperses more cash for us. Hmm, the phone is not generating money, but she's just decided to go and serve dinner, hasn't she? No, she's preparing food, right? She spent $20 on that food, so I'm assuming she's making a really big meal, but... I thought I'd program that into her brain, actually, because now she needs to, uh, prepare food for the incoming family. Oh, it's just to continue forgetting the traumatic experience of yesterday. Shower. One of the two. One of the two. Either way, or maybe Sarah just has a straight up passion for cooking. Nothing wrong with having a passion for cooking. I love cooking. I mean, I really, really do. The food looks disgusting, by the way, Sarah, but whatever. I bought you the best stove in the game, and you best use it and pick it up and just stick it down. Thank you. Right. May as well enjoy a little bit of it to eat while we wait for everyone else to come home. I mean, the kids will be home soon. Then Bob will be around to invite his mate to the house. And then you can sit there and try and forget about his existence. I'll build you a panic room or something later, maybe. 
But now that you've eaten and you're in a good mood, actually, perhaps we should learn to improve our cooking, even though you've just done some cooking. I know it doesn't really sound like a lot of fun, but we should use our time fruitfully on this uh, sim planet, so... Yeah, just use your time fruitfully, please. I'm going to make you study cooking. We're going to make you the best damn cook. Oh, the kids are home. Well, there's food waiting for them, at least. All of them really need food. One of them needs a shower. You go have a shower. And you... Other one, Sally. You go enjoy some food. I mean, you're not really that hungry, but... Yeah, may as well just have some food. Not like that $20. I, well, 20 simoleons. I've got to be more accurate with my words. But... Not, not letting those 20 simoleons just piss in the wind for some food which is just going to sit there and do nothing, so... Get eating it, you fucking ungrateful kids. While your dear mother studies her cooking. By the way, isn't it distracting to watch cartoons or have loud cartoon sound effects playing while you're studying your cooking, is it? I hope it isn't, but that's what's happening anyway, so you just enjoy studying your cooking. Oh, by the way, the postwoman's been. Hello, postwoman. She's probably given us bills. And since bills are actually tied to the entire value of a house through some complex mathematical bullshit, um, this is probably not going to pay off well considering all the expensive splooging I've done recently. Oh well, Bob can pay the bills when he gets home before calling up his mates, like giving, giving Homer his booty call. And he's here right now actually, here's $250, right, get that mail and get that booty call going please. Call Homer and get him out of the house for some more dancing and shit and then we can make him a family friend and then tomorrow we'll hopefully get you promoted because, you know, uh, someone's fucked up, I know, ah, oh, fucking, how do you even get the water that far? Why are you so bad at just doing things? Now you two are just going to play with each other, aren't you? Fine. You, you two go play, even though it's in the bathroom, so you two go sprint around the bathroom for a bit. It is a big bathroom, so we need to make use out of it and he's just calling up his mate. Hello. What are you two talking about? Homer says, I was thinking of watching my plants grow, but I, your plants might be more interesting. Mainly, I want to stare at your wife a little bit more. He'll be over. Oh, great. He's coming. Yes, please stop talking about him. Right. Got the creepy guy coming over. Have some food to fortify yourself before you have to vomit everything up when you realise what an absolute disgusting bastard he is. And we'll just wait, because he's got to walk, like, across the entire goddamn neighbourhood to reach us. He'll be here soon, don't worry. We'll just watch for him when he appears on the screen. Makes his creepy way over. I notice that he doesn't button up his jeans, by the way. It might be caused by him being fat, but... He, ha he has doesn't really have any... Oh, God, he's here. Here, here he comes, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes... I mean, seriously, you still haven't cleaned your shirt since yesterday. What is wrong with you, man? It's 5pm. Anyway, you do that washing up what, before he reaches the house. By the way, thanks for ditching the bills on the on the fucking uh, lawn. Get that shit paid. That's 103 simoleons out of our pocket now. But we have over a thousand ones. Uh, wait, and are you two getting on by the way? Are you two like doing stuff that you should be doing? Yes, you are. But one of you needs to go empty the bladder, so go empty the bladder. That handshake was a little too close for me. I swear to God he was going in for the penis grab. Right. Phew. Do your dancing, by the way, on the lawn. Even though I'm still going to provide no music. And don't go near him. Uh, oh, he's going to greet him. It's all right. Just don't go near him. Yeah, he's avoiding him. You're going to go far in life, Bob Jr., by avoiding him. Okay, seriously. Oh, but now you're going to be insulted by your own son for... Well, having shit dancing, but... I'm still creeped out. Still, you get you get insult. Oh, by the way, we made a friend. Yay! Next time, I'll write a character who isn't a total creep for this game. Right. By the way, your son. Yeah. What are you do? All oh, right, he likes his son. Not. His son tried to insult him, and it somehow didn't work. Like he actually made him like him more. Maybe he's breeding his son to be a bully. Anyway, he's grabbing food. Staring at Sarah again. You go watch some TV and hopefully he'll join you. Or you can go and hook him, in fact. Go and hook him, yes! He's putting the food down so he can be hooked. We don't live in a very... Well, we live in a very socially liberal... Oh, God, he likes it. Seriously, I'm going to see that fucking crush symbol in a minute. And you two are going to... Right, I mean... Oh, God, now we can't even talk. Oh, he's tickling. Oh, God. Oh, wait. 
Oh, right, sir. Only Homer likes being tickled, by the way. Bob doesn't like being tickled, but you better tickle him. Don't want you to be falling out of friendship anytime soon. You two need to be good friends, and we need to maintain that friendship in order to use him for promotions. I mean, I did write here the original goal of this character for being trying to reform the bastard and maybe make him do some work. Didn't work. I mean, we just made this guy into a really creepy, effeminate guy. Ah, fuck it. I like it. Right. Do some dancing, by the way. She's nearly got her fourth cooking skill point, by the way. And the bathroom's being cleaned. We're very efficient in this household. He needs the toilet. By the way, Sally, isn't it time you went to bed? Probably. Go to bed. Those beds haven't been made in a few days, by the way. We should really get around on to that. I think beds are less efficient when you don't make them. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if it's really true, but... I like getting into a well-made bed. I don't like getting into a half-made bed. I mean, it just doesn't work. It just isn't nice. And yeah, I'm just not going to look at the dancing. Just ignore the creepy man. Oh, by the way, a master chef in the making. Sarah got another skill point. Despite being distracted by food and TV cartoon sound effects and that fucking creepy shit show over there. Still four out of ten cooking skill points, Sarah. You're on your way. Now eat that half-finished food, Bob. And then we can send you to bed because you know what? We've got our goals done for the day, and I think it's time to call it a night. Unless Bob Jr. has something to do, like... Bob Jr., why don't you watch some cartoons before you go to bed? You deserve it. Oh, by the way, he doesn't like that food, by the way, I think. Or he just, he's just being creepy. Most likely the other one. Why are you spending so long in the bathroom, Homer? Seriously, alright, he's coming out of the bathroom at least. Is he gonna wash his hands? Yes, he is. Right, that's good at least. He's gonna wash his hands. If he didn't wash his hands, I will be scared. And, oh, by the way, we can offer him to move into our house now. Do we move this guy into our house? Unless the commenter explicitly orders us to offer to move this sick fuck into our house, I'm not doing it. Because seriously, I won't even give him a job. He can just live off our money. Like, be a fat fucking slob, and then we can hate him, but... Yeah. We're not... We're not doing that. I mean, we're, we're not proposing to... We're not, we're, not, we're not doing a gay marriage thing here. I mean, people like to see gay marriages and stuff, like... I know you could do it in The Sims too, but yeah, I kind of wrote this guy to be like a 1950s American dad. And so the 1950s, they have this thing where they think homosexuality is like a brain disease. I mean, obviously it isn't. I mean, I used to live with a gay guy and he was a really cool guy, but yeah. Don't think it's really Bob's thing, especially when Bob's a happily married man. I mean, we shouldn't really do this. I mean, we really shouldn't, but... I just can't resist because for some reason we lost the ability to talk to this guy. All we could do now is dance and hug him. I mean, it's creepy, but it's all we can do. We should bully and beat this guy up one day, by the way. Anyway, no, you don't go play with the doll's house. I'm not having you completely descend into absolute fucking hooty madness. Go to the toilet and then you're off to bed, my lad, because it's, you know, it's, it's, and you should be in bed as well. It's past 9pm. It's past your bedtime, little one. Go to bed, and I will see you in the morning. And you, you've had a, you've had enough for today. You go to the toilet after he's done on it, and then you also go to bed because it's been a long day. You've done your studying. You're getting closer towards making that fifth cooking skill point. You're doing, you're doing well. You're doing well. But for now, we need to ask the guy who's eating all our food to leave. But you should do actually, sir. Don't flirt with him either way. Don't fucking flirt with him. Tell him to go, and then, we'll, then he's gone. Right, and as for you, toilet, then bedtime, please. And he's gone. Bye-bye, Homer. Bye-bye, you creepy fuck. I won't be talking to you tomorrow, by the way. I'm going to not let him come to the house, because... I'm beginning to wonder if we need a restraining order on Homer. I'm not talking too much shit about him, by the way, am I? I mean, I feel like he deserves to have shit talked about him because you're really creepy, dude. But, yeah. We've already descended into extreme degeneracy on this. Oh, fuck the sink, Brooke. Well, that's just a disaster waiting to happen. Well, that's going to be dealt with in the morning. It is too fucking late to deal with a broken sink. Don't wash more stuff in a broken sink, you idiot. All right, he didn't make puddles that time, right? 
turn things off and yes thank you for going why is my stupid fucking weird husband who flirts with that man who keeps coming to our house like breaking our sink but yeah that's on you tomorrow bob you broke it you repair it i know you have no mechanic actually you have two mechanical skills so you can repair it but yeah you better repair that shit tomorrow lad oh we could just call a repair person but I don't want to. Either way, bedtime for everyone, and we can reflect on what the fuck did we even achieve today. Well, we made a friend. Like, a really good friend. I mean, literally, he likes Homer more than he likes his own wife. And there's a burglar. It's like our day just gets better and better, isn't it? Hello there, Mr. Burglar. Not even that long since we last had a burglar around, actually. By the way, that burglar music sends a shiver through my spine. What are you coming to steal today, then? Steal the fish tank? Uh, steal the sink, actually. If you steal the sink, actually, I won't be mad. And... Ah! Burglar alarm! You're fucked, even though he's going for the fridge. Oh, the stove. No, not the stove! Not the stove! I re you... Why is it with burglars and always going for the goddamn stove? I have to replace that shit again, aren't I? Oh, well. The insurance company sent us seven hundred and seventy dollars and one thousand. Now you lot get get on top of your burglary stuff. That's like the second time we've been burgled in a week. No, seriously, that is like the second time we've been fucking burgled, right? He goes away. By the way, you wanna you wanna keep up with him? Like seriously, because yeah, he's like just walking away with his hands up, and you may be following him from a distance, but to be honest, nothing is really stopping him from running away. This is why he keeps escaping and stealing our stuff. I mean, seriously, he'll be he'll be back again. Anyway, let's uh, quickly replace that stuff. And by the way, we did get that nice one thousand dollar, well, one thousand simoleon uh, money for like rescuing the burg. Well, we didn't rescue the burglar. We got rid of a fucking burglar. Hello, burglar. We can't pick him up, by the way, and I don't want to. What do we spend that thousand dollar reward money on? I don't know. Maybe something for the garden, actually. I'm thinking garden because I know we've got that flamingo, but flamingos need friends. Let's get more flamingos. Let's see. Uh, I mean, it's only $12 a flamingo, but another flamingo, another flamingo, another flamingo, another flamingo. Five flamingos. There we go. And we'll top it up with some plant. I mean, look, we're going to make a nice little garden now, so, you know, let's put some nice dandelions there. Oh, these are daffodils, aren't they? Yeah, daffodils. You know, a cheery bulb of a plant. Their lemon yellow heads peek over the blossoms to announce the coming of spring. They're fairly hardy, but they do require some care, so don't, don't abandon them. Yeah, we're going to have to actually water these things, aren't we? But, eh, you know what? I like having these nice little dandelions, you know, because we're, we're... And you know what, actually, you know what? Let's invest in some home security. Picket fences. Picket fences. The things that make America great. So, you know what? Just undo that one. We can do it through here, so... You know what, we're just making our nice little picket fence for our nice little front garden. This is all the land we really own right now, so... There we go. Nice little front garden that we'll never mow, by the way. Even though, yeah, we do need to mow this area. And um, we'll just quickly get rid of that bit. There we go, a nice little picket fence. So, uh, I guess really we should also make a gravel pathway, so... Uh, oh, damn it, don't line up! <sighs> That's awkward, but it's going to be worth it. I'll put something nice there, like swimming pool. Nah, no, that's something we need. That's that's when we're for when we're filthy rich. More plants. I mean, like maybe some wild, yeah, some wildflowers, but they look a bit messy. Nasturbium, they look messy. Tulips, yeah, tulips. There we go. This is looking better and better now. More tulips there. Get a few more daffodils there. Gonna leave that path open for people to explore. And a rose bush as well. Yeah, some rose bushes like. Let's just get uh, another rose bush going. Um, needs I need a hand tool. I mean, just pick up that rose. There we go. That's looking nice now. That's a that's a decent. Well, actually, it's a shit garden, but you know what? Add a tree, like an apple. Yeah, an apple tree. There we go. But do we want it on the front? I think it's really more of a back door thing. But we have we have hedges as well. But there, that's really tomorrow to replace the fence with. Um, hmm. What else goes in the garden? Maybe something in a decorative section, maybe? I mean, let's see. Bust of Athena, ain't really gonna work. Spider plants, violets, no. Rubber plants, cacti, jade plants. Fountain! But that's really posh, I mean. Yeah, you know what? Fountain, I mean, there we go. I'm gonna put the fountain there. And that's pretty much all our money spent. But we'll improve that garden as we get more money. So, you know what, there we go. 
that's the start of a really nice... I mean, look, we can even play with a fountain. I mean, we are doing well here. We've made a friend. We've made money out of burglaries. We've replaced a stove. And now we've got a, a prototype front garden going, which we'll have to water and stuff. Or we could just hire a gardener if we wanted to. Well, again, Sarah, you're here 24 hours a day. You can water the fucking flowers. Saves me money. Anyway, let's just fast forward to the end of the day. Because this day has lasted longer than usual because of burglars. It's a nice way to extend your day, actually. Here we go again. Save away, by the way. Thank you for joining me for today's episode. Lots of cool stuff happening, like really creepy stuff. And, oh. And by the way, if people do legitimately want... By the way, why haven't you woken up, Sarah? It's time to wake up. Um, but seriously, if people do want me to legitimately move in... Captain Creepy, as I'm going to call him, I might actually do it. If, if enough people say they want it to happen, I might do it. Obviously, this won't happen until about episode 16, because I'm recording all these in one night. But if it's a thing people want to happen, I guess I'll make it happen. Either way, that's all for today. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all on the next episode, my friends. So have a nice night. Maybe I'll